it is our Ashish Bishash over here and today I will be reviewing a web series that I have watched recently Felu the Ferud by the Times uh, directed by Srijit Mukherjee well let me come straight to the point if I talk about a web series the four most important aspects uh, that enthrall the audience are its cinematography its screenplay its BGM or background music and the acting obviously well, if I talk about uh, cinematography, I will really like to appreciate the whole production team, the whole editing team for such beautiful visuals and locations. Man, trust me, the locations they used were out of the world. It was really great to see such locations being used in a Bengali cinema web series. So, big thumbs up from me to the production team. And the CGI they used, uh, the Royal Bengal Tiger, when they showed the Royal Bengal Tiger walking, uh, it looked like a real tiger, man. It was not a bad CGI walk. Um, I would I really appreciate the CGI team as well, the editing team. Now, if I talk about the screenplay, when uh, Srijit Mukherjee has a bad habit of messing up things when he tries to add something new to the already written material. Uh, this is adapted actually this web series the story the script is adapted from Chinno Mastaro Bishop written by Satyajit Ray He didn't add something new. I mean Srijit Mukherjee didn't try to add something new to the uh, such to the story uh, And he kept it same He kept the script same as the story. So it really worked well. I mean <coughs> You shouldn't uh, try to add something new when it is already satisfactory enough and then if I talk about the BGM part man the background music of this web series I was fascinated by this background music of this web series they they didn't even use the uh, traditional uh, fellow the themes like tan dan dan na tan dan dan na tan dan dan na tan dan na they didn't use this at all in spite of that the music production team put up a great, great, great uh, background music throughout the whole web series. The <coughs> use of background music was really astonishing for me. And now if I talk about acting. Well, first of all, I would say, Tota Raichotte is matured now. I am seeing him from past 10 years. And now he is matured. He has a... He has a really a strong voice and he has his own aura. And trust me, his personality resonates uh, with the comic Feluda, I would say. So, Tota Raichudri did a great job, but one thing uh, I found that Tota Raichudri actually uh, doesn't use his eye in that way. Well, if I talk, if I am talking about a detective, he has to he has to use his eyes his eyes will tell us the story he has to play with his eyes Tota Rai lacks that a bit but I will keep Tota Rai Chudri ahead of Sopashachi he has done a commendable job now if I talk about the Topshi Topshi was really good he has sharp eyes and a great smile uh, now if I talk about the Lal Mohan Babu Jotai Onirpan Chakraborty man for me, uh, he is not a good Lal Mohan Babu. He is a great Akin Babu. I must admit it. But he is not a good Lal Mohan Babu. Uh, for me, Lal Mohan Babu is a fun character. He is a witty character. Who, with uh, his facial expression, he will he always brings a comic relief to the suspense, right? But in this web series, I find him a bit more intelligent but Lalmon Babu is a bit insipid dull he's not that much modern man and uh Onirman Chakraborty with his, with his facial expression doesn't offer that much so that was a big down for me actually to find Lalmon Babu finding a proper Lalmon Babu is a really tough job uh, now if I have to read this whole web series uh, I will I would, I'll give it uh, 3 out of 5 Yeah, 1 because of its excellent uh, cinematography and the locations, the visuals man. Uh, 1 for its uh, BGM background music and 1 for uh, 
total right to three total right to three can do total right to do have the potential to be the best fellow that I mean not topping Shomitra Chatterjee because Shomitra Chatterjee is kind of a trademark kind of a pioneer but trust me if he's properly groomed total right to this properly groomed and if we give him time enough uh, he can be the next big thing I mean being Feluta is not easy at all so and uh, one thing I'd like to mention that people are saying that uh, this uh, web series uh, does not resonate uh, the timeline of 1970s dude get over it it's 2021 now we aren't getting the same atmosphere, we aren't getting the same <coughs> ambience as 1970s. Everything has changed now, right? But uh, for me, this uh, full web series has fully justified this timeline. Okay? So get away it. And I would like to tell you that, guys, please watch this web series. It is nostalgic, man. It is nostalgic. And trust me, if Total Hoichu 30 has brought back the comic Feluda in real life. Trust me. You will feel the same. So give it a watch. I'll be coming soon guys with another review or something else. Cheers.